So you may have seen the videos of me using the coins and the voltage check on the oscilloscope to test ignition coils. And it got me thinking, what if we use the coil inside a relay to pick up the primary and secondary ignition coil signals using the oscilloscope? Let's have a look. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll open up this relay. A nice little trick for opening relays if you ever have to do it. Get some feeler gauges, push them down the sides of the relay, so we like that, and then simply, and then simply just pull the middle of the relay out, and there we are. There's our there's our coil. So on the side of the relay we've got a bit of a diagram of where the pins are. You can see in the middle that we've got pin 85 and 86 for the coil. So this is a standard DIN relay and they're the normal terminal numbers for those kind of relays. So we've got 85 and 86 on the sides there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect one crocodile clip to that side and then one crocodile clip to 85 so, so that is now on the relay let's start the engine and see if we can pick anything up so I'm going to bring the trigger down and now I'm just going to hold this coil over the top oh well, look at that not bad I'm going to bring that up a bit Okay, so that's pretty good. So we're actually picking up the signal from the ignition coil into the relay there. Not a very strong signal. I thought it might have been a bit stronger than that. So I've got a bit of an idea. So what you can also see on this diagram is a capacitor in the circuit. So we've got the coil at the top, then the capacitor, and that goes back to the control unit. Now what that capacitor is for is to protect the control unit when the relay is being turned off. So when you turn the relay off, that magnetic field around the coil collapses and creates a spike down the control wires. And that capacitor is there just to absorb that. Just there to absorb that spike. So if we look here, we can actually see that capacitor down there. So what I'm actually going to do is see if we can disconnect it and see if that gives us a bigger signal when we do the test. So you can just see I've flicked the connection for the capacitor out of that groove there. Let's connect it up and see if we get a good reading. So we'll put it on, see what we got. Okay, wow, look at that. That is pretty impressive. So a nice new little tool there. What I might actually do at some point, if I get time, is to fashion it into a little probe that you can actually just hook up and then connect. Let's see if what it's like with one on there. Okay, not quite as good. So we're currently connected to the one red lead. Put the black lead on there as well. Much better. Ah. I like it. Give it a go, let us know what you think. So what we've got there then is quite a distinct primary coil charging. And then the secondary coil there being activated when we turn the primary coil off. And then we've got the spark and the rest of the combustion process. Pretty good. So I'll save that waveform so you can download it too. Hit the link in the description and enter email and then we'll forward you a link to the folder with all of the PicoScope data that we save in our videos. Download them, have a play and see what you think.